tonight, more than 100 people watched thousands of Christmas lights light up Poplar Street for the Main Street Christmas light extravaganza. Wanye Reese was there. He joins us now live. Wanye, with everything that's going on, why did people decide to come out? Well, Lori, I spoke to a lot of people this evening and they say that these beautiful lights, it gave them that sense of normalcy especially in a year where everything was but normal. We really enjoyed them, and especially having timing the, good, the music. The timing of the music of the make and bops, that really makes it special. Tis the season for thousands of sparkling lights in downtown Macon. Because they're, cool. they're bright and, and cool. People young and old dance to the Christmas tunes, reminding them of the most wonderful time of the year. It's a warmth to it. You, you can tell uh, with, with seeing this amount of people uh, in, in the city of Macon, it is, it's needful for that. Uh, we, we should come together this way. The reminders of COVID-19 are still there. Mask, social distancing, and sanitizer stations to keep everyone safe. It's just nice to be out and around, even safe social distancing and enjoying some Christmas music and the lights to just be able to do something like that again, wonderful. Did you like the lights? Yes, sir. Did you like the lights, little man? These two young men also enjoyed hearing the Macon Pops perform more than a dozen songs live that kept the crowd jingling from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Friday night. Enough music to make anyone smile. Enjoy seeing them happy and getting everybody together. And though it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas! These lights will keep Central Georgia a little brighter And we have all the information you need to know about these lights on our website at 13WMAZ.com. And Lori, just speaking from my personal experience, this evening of lights in downtown Macon, it just literally made this year a thousand times brighter in my heart. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese 13 WMAZ News. It is a wonderful tradition. Thank you, Wanye. The lights go until January 3rd of next year.